For temperatures, we may have bottomed out a couple of hours ago. A southwest wind is on the increase, and that may actually take our numbers up a little bit. Typically, we cool off as long as we can toward and just after sunrise, but we may start warming here in that 5, 6, 7 o'clock period. There's Manhattan, where it's 30 degrees, everything pretty quiet. There's the capital city, where it's just a smidgen colder, 29. The dew point way down from the drier of yesterday and that prevalent northerly wind. And the breeze now south-southwest at 5 miles per hour. So nothing on radar, but later today, what's going on in Colorado and also Wyoming may drift in. And there might be a little spotty shower out here toward Fort Riley, Junction City, down toward Council Grove. We do have a little bit of cloudiness here, some toward Wichita, uh, some out toward the Wamego area, some up around I-80. But a lot there on the lee side of the Rockies heading toward us. And what's showing up as snow would certainly come into some warmer air by the time it gets here. And so there might be a few raindrops from that. South to southwest breeze, 5 to 15, stronger out toward Concordia, Salina, and the Abilene area right now. And it feels like 20 in Concordia, 19 in Emporia, and 17 in Kansas City. So certainly cold enough to get your attention this morning and make you grab a heavier jacket. Temperatures a little colder south, 20 in Oklahoma City, but it's 31 in Wichita. And then we're right back to low to mid-20s north of that. And the coldest of air sliding through the Great Lakes, the Midwest. And look at that snow. Cincinnati's got it. Uh, getting down through Kentucky, West Virginia, uh, upstate New York. Going to get some pretty heavy snow later today. And then we have this little bitty ripple right there. Just that little bitty kink. And that will bring some clouds and maybe an isolated shower to us today. So we'll start it off mostly clear. We go partly cloudy pretty fast. And then we'll go mainly cloudy, I think, toward late morning and afternoon. And there are the spotty showers that could occur. Shouldn't be too much to that. And then those clouds decrease, and I think we set ourselves up for a good deal of sunshine going through Friday and Saturday, and the temps keep warming up pretty nicely. So for today, we'll be in the 20s and low 30s early on, and then we start hitting the 40s, and there is a chance to be between 48 and 50 degrees today, and there are the clouds that will steadily increase. Overnight tonight, 29, a clear to partly cloudy sky, west wind at 5 to 15. Tomorrow, breezy and 57. It might become rather windy on Saturday, so hopefully that's not too terribly bad as you're out and about in 63 on the first day of March, a 66 high, and that's about as warm as we'll get. Then we start taking it down. The moisture will increase. We start to set it up for showers. That could be Monday night into Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, there still might be just a little bit going on with overnight lows in the 30s and daytime highs right around, say, 51 to 53.